YouTube, what's up? This your boy, Big B Productions 100. Tonight, I just wanted to make a quick video. I know a couple of my buddies or whatever, they've been asking me about uh, some features or whatever that's inside Safari and Google Chrome and Internet Explorer now, or whatever. Now, this video is just basically for the people that's not really too sure of what it is and what this can do for you and benefit you. And I'm talking about sandboxing. So, if you don't know what sandboxing is or what it can do for you, how it can benefit you or whatever, this video is for you. So, all right, we're going to go in and uh, jump right into it. Let me go in and uh, pop these little images up for you right here. Hold on, let me just drag these to my, my main desktop or whatever. All right, now you got you got your Safari, you got your Google Chrome, and Internet Explorer 9. Now, basically, what sandboxing is, let's just say all the websites and applications that you use inside Safari or whatever are sandbox. So they wouldn't have access to the information on your system. So let's just say if a website contains malicious codes that's intended to capture personal data or tamper with your computer, sandboxing will provide a built-in blocker that'll restrict the code from doing any harm to your computer. And then you have the application sandboxing the sandboxing would also protect the system by eliminating the kinds of operations and applications that can perform such as uh, opening documents or accessing the network. So sandboxing makes it more difficult for the, for the security threats or whatever to take advantage of the issue that's in a specific application to affect the greater system in which you're using such as your Macintosh or whatever, or let's just say, okay, you own a Windows PC or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you're using your Internet Explorer. So that's basically what sandboxing is and how it can benefit you. So that is one of the new features that's inside Safari 5. It's also in Google Chrome, like I said, and Internet Explorer. So sandboxing is not, I mean, by... By all means, it's, it's, it's something good, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, this video is for uh, two of my buddies, you know what I'm saying? They didn't know what sandboxing was or whatever. So, I figured, well, you know, there's probably some more people out here that don't really know what sandboxing is or maybe they're not too familiar with it. So, I just decided to make a quick little cool video on just basically explaining what sandboxing is, what it does, and how it can benefit you. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, other than some of the other cool new features they got inside OS 10 line, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there already got, I like the simple fact that they got like uh, the users and group preferences up in the right hand corner now, and it like displays your name or whatever that's on your login screen. So I kind of thought that was cool, but uh, I know I um uh, I installed Mac OS 10 Lion like two days ago on my Mac, and it seems like I'm not. I'm not too sure if a lot of you guys out there, you know what I'm saying, been having the same problem, but it seems like when I open up Safari, let me see if it'll do it while I'm recording. If I open up Safari or whatever, okay, it's not doing it. Most of the time when I try and do a search or something on a web page, it'll say my internet connection cannot be detected or something like that. And it would tell me to check my internet connection. Now, when I check it, you know what I'm saying, it's got like the little icons or whatever, little buttons on the screen that you can click on to check your internet connection. It'll say, oh, your internet connection is fine. We did not detect any problems, blah, blah, blah. And then it would tell me to clear out my cache or whatever, my history and all of that. I'll do it, close down Safari, open it back up, and it'll run just fine. So I went to the Apple store today, told them about the problem I was having, and the guy was like, or whatever, uh, Maybe it's some bugs or something that they have to fix inside OS X Lion and uh, from the App Store or something like that. So right now, it's been happening already about like probably about 10 times and it's kind of pissing me off. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, it took me like three hours and a half to download Mac OS X Lion, you know what I'm saying, out of the Mac App Store. So I think I need to call AT&T while I'm at it because of the simple fact. I thought my internet connection speed was a little bit faster than that, but I guess not. So I'll probably be calling them sometime tomorrow and uh, 
another application I just installed was Aperture 3. I'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying, kind of familiar with that or whatever. Well, actually, I'm not really familiar with it at all. So I'm going to be using this instead of uh, iPhoto. I heard it's a lot better than iPhoto. So I'm going to try to play around with Aperture, see what I can do. But uh, this your boy, Big B Productions 100. Uh, I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your lives. Sit back, chilling, you know what I'm saying? Looking at this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try to give you guys some more videos sometime this week. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a new video on what's in my iTunes library as far as my movies. Because I have a ton of movies in here. As you can see, I have 856 movies. That's... That, that totals out at 44.7 days and 473 gigabytes on my external hard drive. And I also have that streaming to my Apple TV. So I have none of these movies on my computer or inside Plex. I also have a video on YouTube on that on how to do it. If you're not too sure what how, how to basically install the movies on your external hard drive and stream them into Plex or whatever. So check that video out. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing another video on the movies that's inside my iTunes library and the music so this is my movie library right here or whatever and I will be doing a video on this probably what's today Wednesday probably Monday or whatever so uh, again I want to thank you guys for checking out this video uh, please rate comment and subscribe your boy Big B Productions 100 holla at you